This game preview is brought to you by Manscaped's Premium Ultra Soft Boxer Briefs 2.0. Complete with the all new jewel pouch to protect your stones. Use the promo code SACCITY for 20% off and free worldwide shipping. Manscaped, the perfect tools to protect your jewels. Next game on our list is the New York Giants traveling to Tennessee to take on the Titans. The over under in this game is 43 and a half points. Aaron, what player has the most to prove early in this season? I mean, we talked about Traylon Burks, talked about like Ryan Tannehill, Saquon, all those guys. Which player has the most to prove early on in the season? Well, it's easy. It's Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones is on the, he's on his way out. He's on the final chance of, of his, probably of his life as a starting quarterback. Cause I don't know who would give him another chance to start maybe as a backup somewhere, but it's Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones has to come out and play well this year and prove to them that they could trust him to at least transition him um, for another year to say, Hey, you know what? We'll give you a short-term deal or something that we believe your growth is enough to say, maybe we can build something with Brian Dable. This is it for Daniel Jones or even latch onto a different team. Uh, we could argue Ryan Tannehill, but Ryan Tannehill has a big contract. He ain't going nowhere this year. Even if he does, he's paid. What does he got to prove? Like he's had good seasons in the past. He's had some bad seasons in the past. I think Ryan Tannehill, we're, we know what he is. He's eight, eight years in, uh, nine years in. So you talk about Traylon Burks. He's a rookie. I don't really like to put those expectations on rookies, even though everybody wants to call him A.J. Brown 2.0. He's not, but he's going to have to obviously prove he can be that. But I think the most pressure is on Daniel Jones uh, just because of the position he plays uh, and, and what's at stake for the Giants. You could argue Saquon, but he's a running back. Nobody cares. Like At the end of the day, we, we talk about Saquon as being one of the best, and dang, we would love to see it. But if Saquon disappears into the abyss and has a bad season this year and is not on the Giants next year, like nobody at the end of the day is going to look back and be like, oh, my God, that Saquon Barkley guy. Like it's He doesn't play quarterback, so nobody cares. Yeah, that's fair. And I, that's actually where I wanted to go next is with these two running backs. Obviously, Saquon Barkley, a uh, very well-known running back, very good running back when healthy. Derrick Henry has been healthy most of his career, except for last season, um, getting injured, missing a good chunk of time, both returning from injury. Which running back do you think has the better game on Sunday? It might surprise you. How would you know I was going to say Saquon Barkley? Well, some that's, surprises actually. This is actually B roll for both Saquon Barkley oh, and Derek okay, Henry. Oh, okay, good. I didn't producer, know where you were going because he didn't know where I was going. It was okay. That truck stick. It's to me. It's uh, Saquon because of the versatility. Week one, healthy, out of the backfield, one of the better receivers in the league, and he has the explosiveness to take it to the house. Derrick Henry is a feed me type of running back, which means you have to give him usually twenty plus carries, twenty five carries, and he gets going, and then he has those big long runs like that. I don't particularly care for running backs like that. I, it's great when you can bruise a defense and then wear them out and then get that big one. But there are too many games where I, I'm going to see 18 for for 46 or, you know what I mean? Like, it, and again, I'm, I don't know this. It sounds like I'm bashing him, but the man ran for 2,000 yards and all this stuff. Yeah, no, one's, no like, one's discrediting his. Yeah. his, his no, yeah. he's coming off an injury. And I like the fact that I want a guy that's going to give me four and a half, five. Five and a half, six. I'd rather have that than a guy that gets me two, 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 25. Two, 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 25. Like, I don't, I don't really like that style of running back. I feel like it's more impactful in a game if you can just four, five, four, six, eight, ten, and then you can also hit the home run. So that's my personal preference. Uh, but they're both great running backs and both probably will have really good days. Anything Saquon has the better day? I do. From a statistical perspective, I, I do. Um, I think that Saquon is just more versatile. Derrick Henry is not going to be used out of the passing game. And despite what people think, I know Tennessee plays ahead a lot, but I think the Giants, you don't have to wait for my score. I think the Giants have a chance in this game. And I think Saquon is going to be heavily used, especially with the injuries coming back from the wide receivers. Kenny Galladay hasn't been playing very well. Uh, I think he's going to be used a lot. So give me Saquon. Yeah, the uh, we talked about the Colts just be just before um, and talked about how they had the longest active week one losing streak. The Giants are actually right behind them with five straight week one losses. Uh, you take the Giants in this game. What's your score? Well, actually, I said I'm thinking about taking the Giants. Um, oh, on the road is tough, but I am going to take the Giants. I, I told Tennessee fans I'm not excited about this team. I, I think the Giants week one healthy can go on the road and get this win. Um, giving Brian Dable some respect here. I'll take the Giants 20, 
421. I went on record many of times thinking that the Tennessee Titans were um I I I, I have the Tennessee I have the ten yeah, I have the Tennessee Titans going uh, I believe 6 and 11 I think is what I had uh the, their record and in my predictions I had them winning this game and I will stick with that. I will take the Tennessee Titans here 21 17. AJ is going with the Titans as well 23 to 17. I think I think at the end of the day we're still going we're going to see some growing with the Giants and this Brian Dable team. Like it's not a discredit to them by any means and it's not a credit to Tennessee by any means I should say. Um but I do think that they're still growing there and Mike Vrabel I think it's more this season with the Tennessee Titans losing games against good teams and they still beat the bad teams because that they're still that good. Um, and then this game, it's one of those situations where they, they take down the New York Giants. Dylan also has the Titans over the Jets. There, yeah, have it. Uh-huh.